Hello guys, and it's the one to here, bringing you my first, my Wi-Fi battling series, I guess. The first battle I've had, um, well not the first, but the first I've had of a proper full team. They're still not actually fully EV chained, tra chained, trained, there are some EVs lingering about everywhere. I just gotta sort that out, but I, I decided I'd start in the Wi-Fi battles anyway, and uh, first battle here is against j Dog. so let's go. I'm gonna talk, I, I originally said I was gonna record live, but I decided in the end that I just record post, it's easier for me. So we have J-Dog, I'm going to talk through the battle sets, going through my sort of thoughts here. He first starts off with a Go-Goat here, and I start off my Squidette, I looked at his team and thought, you know, Squidette can handle most of them. He goes for a Leaf Blade here, which is good because we have a high defence rating, so we survive that fairly well, you can see there, less than half. We then use our Superpower, because that's going to raise our attack and our defence, which is very helpful. Oh uh, yes, because of the contrary ability, and because superpower usually lowers them. So he goes for another leaf blade, obviously it's going to do less damage because we've had our defense raised, and that's reflected in that, it goes down to 41. And I go for a psycho cut now, and that finishes off skid mark there, because the superpower did some damage, but obviously psycho cut with the raised attack and the boost from the stab, uh, it's obviously going to take it out. He sends out his own Malamar, um, I don't know if he has contrary as well, I think he does, we'll find out in a minute. So I switch out to Sylvia, because Sylvia's going to have... Moonblast, he goes for a superpower much like I did, which is going to do a decent amount of damage to Sylvia. Not a huge amount, but a good amount, because we are a, a defense, uh, a defense, yeah. <laughs> His attack and defense rises, however he then withdraws the Malamar. Um, I forgot what, he sends out, sends out Gengar. I didn't really think he, you know what, well, I could have predicted the switch, but um, anyway, the Moonblast goes off here and does... You know, decent damage, over half damage to be fair, since it's not very effective. So I decide to get out of there before we can switch to a poison type move, and I send out my Dragolg. Since I figure if he's going for a poison type move, Dragolg's the best to resist that, and indeed, Dragolg does resist it fairly well. So then he goes and Mega Revolves his Gengar into obviously Mega Gengar, which is um, very helpful for him. So then I think. I went for a, <clears throat> I went for a, well he goes for Shadow Ball first, um, which is going to do, I think there's decent damage to us, almost takes us out there actually, and lowers our special defense. Uh, and then I went for a Dragon Pulse, since I figured that was my strongest move, and that actually then just, just finishes the Gengar off. So it wasn't all that hard I guess. Um, so then he sounds like his Hulk Claw Itza, which is actually a Shiny Claw Itza, which is pretty damn cool. And um, I didn't realise he'd had he'd have Dragon Pulse on here. I'm not not quite sure on Claw Itza's move set since I don't actually use it at all. But unfortunately, he managed to take out Toxic. I was I was going for my Thunderbolt there because Thunderbolt is on Toxic there. But then I sent out my Chester, which is a Grass type, obviously, and figured I might be able to outspeed it, which I do. And I go for the Wood Hammer, which actually just takes it out in one hit, so that wasn't really too hard. Um, and that then obviously deals some recoil damage to Chester, but not a huge amount really. He then goes and sets up his Malamar again, so I figure I'll switch out because I'm expecting a Psychic time move. So I think I switched out to my own Malamar, because obviously that will resist the Psychic time move. But he goes for a Superpower instead to raise his attack and defense again, and manages to take out my Squidette there, unfortunately. Obviously his attack and defense rises, so we have to deal with that in a second. And I think then I switched out to my Sylveon again, so you can see where this is going. Uh, and then I got my Sylveon to, well, I was going to get my Sylveon to use Moonblast, but he gets for a Hypnosis instead, which unfortunately is going to put Sylvia to sleep. And uh, I didn't really have, you know, an idea of what to do here. I didn't know uh, how to counter this. I didn't really want to switch out because I didn't know what I was going to be switching out into. He goes for another Superpower, which is going to deal more damage to us and obviously raise his attack and defense again. Uh, and I decided instead of switching out, I just try and sort of resist it, I guess, and uh, wake up. But unfortunately, that didn't really work, so he goes for another superpower there, and I decided I'd forfeit my Sylvia rather than switching out and having to deal with a superpower that's pretty high power to be honest. Hitting my Pokemon and probably taking them out because I only had what my Aurorus, which is obviously gonna take a lot of damage from the Squidette itself. And then we have Delta, who I'd send out as my fastest Pokemon, so I figured, you know, if I wanna avoid this high attack stat hitting me, sending out my fastest Pokemon is probably the best. And I send Delta out and go for a Fire Blast, I think. Obviously, Drought is going to activate as well, which is really helpful for Mega Charizard Y. And he goes for a switcheroo to try and switch, switch items, but obviously that's not going to work because it doesn't actually work on Mega Stones. That's one of the exceptions. I think, yeah, I, thought, I don't think Mega Stones can be taken away from you at all, so that's just one of the rules. So that takes out the Malamar fairly easily, and he sends out to Lucario, who goes for a close combat, which is going to do not a whole lot of damage. 
it does some decent damage because Charizard isn't high in defense. But um, obviously because it's not very effective, it doesn't do much. Lowers its defense and special defense, which kind of screws over here for the Fire Blast coming out, which is also powered up by the Drought, and it was also a critical hit, so that thing was pretty damn screwed. And then finally, we get Scar sent out, which is his Sylveon. And I think I just went for another Fire Blast here, since it's you know, all I had, really. Um, I was going to take advantage of the Drought, and yep, it takes down to almost low health. And he goes for a Moon Blast, which isn't going to do a huge amount of damage because it's not very effective. So then I finally finish off with a Solar Beam. I decided I'd go for the Solar Beam rather than the Fire Blast, which just has a lower accuracy. So the Solar Beam is best. And that uh, just, just about takes out Scarves and finishes the battle. So, we have here J-Dog. It was uh, three, or I lost three Pokemon. He lost, or, or six, because I won. But yeah, it was a good game, J-Dog. Or J-Dog, j, -Dog, j -Dog, Duke, I don't know, I can't pronounce stuff guys, you know what I'm like. Anyway, so guys, that was my first Wi-Fi battle. Expect some more soon, possibly daily, I'm not quite sure how quickly I can get them out yet. Daily, every other day, something along those lines. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, nice if you could leave a like down below. And yeah, you can email me if you want a battle and such. There's an application video somewhere on my channel if you want to check that out. But yeah guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.